if you have panic going on on a Sunday night and everyone's moving their cash and they're going, where am I going to go? And that's flushed into crypto. Jerry, it was a good salient point that if you pull it out, that's now a taxable event. And I guarantee the CEO who moved 10 million of their Y Combinator money out was not thinking that. But now that the dust has settled, their legal team and their tax team are like, wait, do not move that back out yet. We really need to know what we're doing. And they did see a 10, 15, 20% bump literally within a week. So they went from 10 million to 20 million in Bitcoin. That's scary on its own because you want to secure profits. So it's an interesting contract. I would agree with that. But Austin, could you please unpack for me what on ramps are disappearing? Banks, the, the, the easy ACH transfer banks to Coinbase, to Crypto.com, to everywhere else, those are slowly disappearing. Yes, I see Allison, <laughs> Allison Banks. Yes, I, I, I play the middle ground. What do you want? Yeah, it, you it, know, I'm so glad <laughs> Allison said that because I'm like, Aussie, we come from a country where there's a civil war. You got to choose a side. Yeah, you, you got to Kentucky. If you want to be Kentucky, that's cute. And it could be but brother like, on brother violence. We don't even care. Like, yeah, that, yeah, it could be, it could be, you know, from healthy. the same NFT collective violence. But I, I, I want to call out Grant something that you said because I think it's a really important thing that when you think about it, now, I don't think the world's ending. I just think the water's heating up, and we're just sitting there like, oh, it's not that bad. Oh, it could be worse. Well, the banking crisis didn't happen, so it could be worse. But I'm sitting here like, all we're doing is avoiding short-term uncomfort for long-term pain because we're just printing more money.